And that wraps up a tough night. He represents Russia. A warm welcome, please, for Adyan Pitkayev. Adyan Pitkayev from Russia with Evgeny Plushenko being the face, the name of Russian men skating for a number of years. His status right now uncertain. Could be a young teenager, the 17-year-old from Moscow, who steps into that space. Currently in fifth place, but less than seven points off the lead. This is his second season on the Grand Prix circuit as a senior skater. He competed in Chicago last year at Skate America, where he came in sixth. He opens this program with a very difficult element, a quad toe, triple toe, could rack up a lot of points right here. Beautiful first quad, nice triple toe. Elevation terror. It's a big one. Another quad attempt here. Going for a triple axel there, turned it into a single. Many international skaters have trouble coming to perform in the US and Canada because they use NHL sized ice versus Olympic sized ice here. And it looked on that triple axel as though he was setting it like he would at home on an Olympic sized surface. And all of a sudden there was the wall. So you rush it and then of course the pop. Got to be a bad feeling. He's now into the bonus where every jumping pass receives a 10% bonus. Beautiful sweeping jumps. He's also one of my favorite Russian skaters. He's the most stylish, and he just has the most potential to really grow and get some good points in that component score. Still needs more refinement as of now. You can certainly tell that he trains with Yevgeny Medvedeva and Yulia Lipnitskaya with under the same coaching team. Very nice, solid jump technique, beautiful air position. Definitely translates well. Think of the hardship skaters, their families go through the sacrifices. It takes him up to four hours to get to the rink each day. Trains in Moscow, takes a combination of bus and subway transportation. Spends about three hours on the ice and attends regular school. It's quite a full day. At this point, Terry, skating is your life. Yeah. <laughs> Everything.
You can certainly see this year a lot of growth in his artistry, his conditioning. He's able to perform from the start of the program to the finish. Definitely trying to set himself up as the top Russian man in the absence of Yevgeny Plushenko. But it's a hard spot to hold, trying to get to that top spot. So many young Russians coming up in the field in the junior ranks. I really enjoyed this program. Bronze medal at the Russian National Championships last year, but most of the last couple of years spent on the junior side, the Junior World Championships, where he won a silver medal back in 2014, Your top five finish Russia. last year. In his second season on the senior Grand Prix circuit, Adyan Pitkev, whose coach, by the way, Terry Tutberidze, has already had a pretty darn good weekend here in Milwaukee. Evgeny and Medvedeva having won the gold medal. So Adyan, who's competed already once, many of these skaters have a competition or two under their belt, but a lesser competition, not at this level. And here's this beautiful combination, sweeping takeoff, gets so much coverage across the ice. Quad toe, triple toe, he got 15.46 points just on that element, but it's a game of math. He missed the axle and lost seven points. And that there was the second quad toe, just did not pound that right leg down into the landing, didn't trust it enough, but still two solid quad attempts, one beautiful. Adian Pitkev of Russia has earned in his free skate program 150.85. Sheepishly looking at the numbers, 150.85 for the free skate, and you see the overall number, 230.75. So in the second place, right behind Jason Brown. Which is pretty good. I can't tell if he's happy or not. When we come back, it's Shoma Uno of Japan. What do you mean? 